all you space engineers out there. Commander Kingfish here, and we are back on for day 19 on the frozen rock. Well, we have ever so slowly been making progress. Uh, one of the things that uh, I am wanting to do is, as I mentioned in the last episode, is create a task list. And I'm going to do that here. Uh, and as soon as I get the list up there, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you. But uh, what we accomplished last episode, which was I was very excited about, was we've got the garage in place. Now, it's nothing fancy. That's for darn sure. But we have an entrance. We were able to get the buggy parked in and under here and connected up to power so that our survival kit we sh so the battery is on standby power but the survival kit we should be able to use so let's let's just do this right here since I need there we go. Yep. See, our survival kit is in good working order here. It's protected. So basically, we have a spawn point. Uh, should the inevitable happen. I hate to say it. We're on day 19 and I haven't died yet. So our survival kit is protected. I wouldn't be so worried about it if we had to, was able to find a silver uh, field. But we have found no silver at all. So... Hopefully that will be coming at some point. Anyway, this is the garage. There's still a lot to do down here, but it's not a priority anymore. And the only thing that was damaged in getting it parked down here was the metal detector. And I repaired that, so we're all set. It's not smoking and, and sparking and, and all that sort of good stuff. Uh, at some point, I might put doors in here, but for now... Uh, the, you can't really see it. It would be, I don't know, unless a drone accidentally somehow ended up flying down here, uh, which I doubt, then we shouldn't, we should be in pretty good shape with that. Uh, and then the other thing I got to do is just put a door, but again, that's not a priority anymore. We got that to where we're safe. Uh, next thing we've got to do is uh, build more base defenses. I have to test out the flying machine and make sure that uh, we've got some distance on it. Uh, I did add the second hydrogen tank on there. So we should have double the amount of fuel. Or not really double the amount of fuel, but at least... Uh, 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 three quarters as much more fuel now uh, as to what we had the last trip so I think at this point uh, oh I wanted to go grab that unknown signal as I mentioned in the last one uh, we're grinding those down and getting uh, uh, getting some resources out of that that we desperately need so I'll uh, catch back up with you after I get back from grinding that down. Okay, mission accomplished. Uh, let's get the stuff into the refinery. This is one of those. This was one of those roly-poly ones. I managed to get it turned off, and so uh, we should start seeing more polymer uh, building up here which means we can make plastics. Now this one has a sensor in it. So I know sensors and uh, advanced computer scrap gives us more polymer. So let's, uh, let's put that up there. Oh yeah, look at that. We're starting to build that up. And let's put the sensor over here. I thought the sensor 
gave us more polymer. Maybe not. Maybe it's just the advanced computer scrap. Well, either or. We're, uh, the advanced computer's at least giving us something to work with in being able to make plastic for base, for advanced computers, which we need for some of this other stuff. All right, so that was a little bit around the base. We managed to go get that. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get my task list set up and then I will uh, catch back up with you once I have that done. Okay, I think we have our, at least a start on a task list. Things that need to be done. Uh, so let's just kind of, and it's in no particular order. Now, if you guys are looking at this and you can think of other things that need to be done around here, let me know in the comments and I'll add them to the task list. If I have to put up another panel, I will. Uh, but hopefully that as we work through these things, I can check these off and remove them from the list. So we've got additional power source, wind and solar. I've kind of set that up at the top. Uh, I'm thinking that that's going to be my next priority. Uh, we also got to find new ores, oil sand, titanium, silver, niter. Niter we need to produce ammo so that we can uh, expand up. Lithium we need so that we can get into those better batteries. Uh, oil sand, obviously that's for uh, the plastics and the polymers and stuff like that. So those are things that we've got to find and they're located on this planet. We just got to find them. Improve the flying flight distance of the flying machine. Uh, I've got to start on that. I've added the uh, additional hydrogen tank and I might be able to tweak out some of the engines. Uh, might be able to remove some of those engines so that's not using quite as much fuel and that sort of thing. But I think that will be next after I get a additional power source set up. And the reason the additional power source I need to get set up is the hydrogen engines are using a lot of ice. And I want to get away from having to, to mine all that ice. And if I can get a good wind generator, which I believe these new ones, we can build these now, uh, will produce 10 megawatts. And I think we're to the point that we can produce uh, and get a, a solar panel set up. And so I think if I can get two of those set up, then that's gonna solve a lot of our power supply problems. A chemical refinery, we need that. Uh, that uh, actually refines the niter, the lithium, uh, sulfur, and it'll also the high yield coal. Now, if we're gonna go with uh, wind and solar, then I may not need that coal. And so we may not, uh, push onward towards uh, building up that coal, even though we've got a large coal field over there. Uh, fix the drills at the bauxite mine. Uh, as I mentioned, that is, those are heavy duty drills and they don't have any side ports on them. So I got an idea on how I want to do that, but right now uh, we can at least be able to get some uh, bauxite so that's not a high priority but at some point I do want to get that fixed finished the garage obviously but again it's in the it's to the point that it is uh, serviceable we don't need to worry about it so much our uh, survival kit is protected uh, I need more base defenses set up and then continual expansion of the base so with that I think let's take a look at what it's going to take for the uh, wind power. Again, I'd like to get that set up. I have an idea on where I want to put that in. Uh, actually, you know what? I need to... Uh, let's grab some girders and... Let's see. Oh, I got to dump that stuff. Let's grab some girders. 
There we go. And then we'll grab some blocks. Some cement blocks. Which is over here. And uh, we can put this stuff in here. There we go. Grab that. Uh, and I've got good on food and water. Uh, carrots we can leave right there. All right. So I'm thinking where I want to put this solar or this wind turbine in. Now it needs lots of clearance. So this new wind turbine, I want to put it in up here on the hill somewhat out over here. Uh, I'm thinking... If I can put it in right here, uh, somewhere about right up and in here, that should give us plenty of distance and the uh, uh, space that we need so that if we need to put another one in, we can. And then I'm thinking my solar panels will go off over in that distance over there. So let's just take a look at what it's going to take. Uh, power blocks. Power blocks. Uh, there we go. So this takes basic computers, advanced computers, so we can kind of do everything. The 15 advanced computers might be a bit of a challenge, but I'm assuming we would put this up on some sort of uh, high pole. It says optimal clearance is 100 meters and optimal height is 50 meters. So that's going to be at least 10 blocks up. And so what I'm thinking is I will well, let's just pull this thing down and see what it looks like. So, I wonder, I bet... That's a nice looking wind turbine. So, I'm guessing that uh, we would build blocks up. And kind of like what we did over there. And then we can place this on top of the last block. And let's see. I don't know of any other basic requirements. Hopefully that will sit up there and, and spin. All right. Well, let's do this. Let's put down some uh, cement blocks. Uh, let's get it over here. And then I think what I want to do is do those round round blocks. Put that in right there, right there, right there, there, there. And then we need to uh, put a couple of... Now what I'm thinking is that I should be able to run my power poles just over to my... where I have my power hooked in right there. And then that should end up connecting to everywhere on the base. So we will put a block there for the the pylon. Now what I would like to do and we're going to see what the challenge is going to be here. I don't have any steel on me. Uh, eight is what I meant. I'd like to be able to run those up. I think that would look pretty good. The question is being able to, and I think I can build scaffolding up the side of that. Let me go get 
some stuff and we'll see if we can start uh, getting this uh, built into place. If I can get a wind turbine set up today, I'll be extremely happy. Okay, I think you can start to see what I'm trying to do here. Uh, I've got the cylindrical columns going up and the only thing I don't like about it is the support system that I've got to put in, at least to make it look good. I mean, space engineers, you don't have to worry about uh, things falling down, but I like to try to make it look good. So what I've done is I've got for my scaffolding and my ultimate mode of getting up to the top for repair is I've got a graded stairs, uh, I've got a corner uh, catwalk, uh, another catwalk, and I don't know, well, yeah, see, I kind of wanted that catwalk there that gives some support, then I got another corner catwalk, and then another set of stairs, and then I'll have catwalks coming across this side, and we'll just continue to traverse our way up to the stars, well, at least uh, up uh, some 50 60 meters I like to put 10 blocks in I think that makes it look good and I'll have to figure out once I get to the top how I am going to get the blades on there because I'm sure I will have a problem once I get up to the top I'll have to make some sort of little platform up there and then add some more cylinders on top of that for the windmill to get up there. So I'll keep uh, working away on this and hopefully uh, have this uh, somewhat constructed here in the next, uh, you know, by the end of this episode. I will catch back up with you here in a little bit. Well, of course, about the time I'm about ready to finish these things up here. Uh, actually, I'm not going to get the tower or the windmill done today. I still have quite a bit more uh, uh, wireframe to put up around there. Uh, but I kind of wanted to show you what I got. Uh, and of course, a snowstorm's coming in. So let's see if we can get this, uh, kind of show you what I've done. I've got the cylinder going up. Uh, these are up about 10, 10 of those cylinder blocks. And I'm going to have to go up a few more blocks up above and I'll show you when we get up there. But I've just used scaffolding and I used uh, basically a slope steel block to for my support. And so we have scaffolding catwalk, catwalk, stairs, uh, catwalk, catwalk, stairs, and it's like that all the way up. We'll get up to the top up here. I think this is going to be plenty high enough. The, now you start getting up into what I'm going to probably have is kind of a a maintenance platform, something like that. Uh, but I'm slowly trying to build it out. And then I need to go up another at least three or four, I think. Uh, at least another three. And I'll show you why. Uh, here is the windmill. So, or the wind turbine. So you can see those blades are plenty long and plenty long. So I need to go up higher and I may uh, have just one side of the platform built out so that I can connect this up. So I'm still trying to figure out how I'm actually going to get this connected. Uh, it will connect about like that. So I might uh, oh, I need steel plate, so I probably can connect this, and that should give it its clearance, 
And that's what I'm thinking I'm going to have up above. So that's where we stand at this point. Uh, more work to do. So I guess I'm not going to get it finished in this episode. Uh, but we'll get it finished in the next episode. And while I am at it, I'll kind of show you why I want to get this completed and in and then get a solar panel for additional power. I'm hoping that between this and I'll probably have to put another one of these in uh, but between this and the solar power here is my well my floating bush and it's kind of blowing in the wind but I've had to mine out all of this <coughs> excuse me I've had to mine out all of this uh, ice just to keep the hydro uh, engine running and power to the base so so with that I think we are at a pretty good spot here uh, kind of similar same design that I did here but that I used all concrete on that <coughs> and uh, my uh, blocks I didn't put any railings or anything in on that all right let me get back down to the base down here so here we are we made progress today let's get over here so we got this into place I've managed to get one uh, unknown signal today I'd like to have gotten a few more but they were just kind of falling a little farther away uh, but we've got started on our wind for our additional power source uh, we've got started on our wind so at some point we're going to be hopefully by the next episode we could kind of check that off uh, obviously we didn't get after any new ores or we didn't touch the flying machine so I'm thinking that next episode we can do that as well and then we'll steadily get working down now if you guys can think of something else I need to put on here let me know let me know in the comments on what I need to add and uh, I'll uh, get them added on here all right well uh, I think that about wraps this episode up I th all you uh, space engineers out there keep uh, building away and I will see you in the next episode Commander Kingfish is out of here thanks for watching everyone <laughs>